So um, as far as AI, Mike Novogratz told us that there will be an AI boom. Mm -hmm. I mean, bust. Um, Absolutely. Bubble, AI bubble, right? And it'll pop eventually. And he also said that, uh, you know, NVIDIA and Microsoft, two companies that would be good to invest in as far as leading the way on artificial intelligence. I think I heard that before somewhere. Perhaps. Um, what do I know? So is there too much hype behind artificial intelligence? And will we see a market correction, um, you know, punish mm -hmm. artificial intelligence? Because even, I mean... The, the the stock market this year was really has gone up off of artificial intelligence hype mm. really um from the tech stocks for sure when the tech stocks have driven the, the larger stock market as a whole yeah so um are we in for a nft type situation with ai absolutely um and now i'm gonna go crazy on this one when i did the talk with him and kathy at invest fest um he said 17 to 18 months and if we're going to be super honest these boom and hype cycles that lead to bust happen. So when crypto, um, I remember at one time people were telling me the Russell 2000 was a better category to invest in the S&P 500. I'm like, but if you haven't been in these markets long enough, you don't see that those mid caps eventually fall. Um, then we went through it, of course, with NFTs, and we're going to see an AI probably in 18 to 24 months. Um, the ones that are great, open AI, Anthropic, um google has their foot in the race and i'm hearing shout out to the good folks over at meta that they have something that they're working on that they're going to release probably end of year those would be the big four every category of business every sector has a big four the race is to get that lion's share so now that that's carved out eventually there'll be one in healthcare. there'll be a couple of music that has an impact that probably be one in film um i would love to see what they do in oil and gas but the other ones that are based in evaluations off being off ai alone it's probably 15 apps that i have on my phone that were not ai companies last year and then after open ai came out they got a chance to get all this funding it's never um a good place to be in when you are a copy or a replica of another business so i can't wait for this boom to happen because it's needed and this is what happens when you have too much capital floating around but if i'm going to be very honest this is the fault of venture capitalists no one wants us to have the conversation and we need to, but they funded the crypto bubble. They funded the WorldCom Tech 2000 bubble. They funded part of the housing crisis bubble, then crypto, then NFT, then AI. But no one ever goes to say, where's capital being deployed from to go into these projects that will allow them to run net negative for four years, but be one of the greatest companies of all time. Um, but it brings to us to a bigger point. The re I was told this past weekend too the reason why they won't announce that we're in a recession because if they do, the lid will get uncovered and most of the pension funds are unsolvent or insolvent. So um, money and capital eventually has to move and it never dies. It's always deployed somewhere. But when you are seeing things talked about too much, that's when you know all the money has left it. Notice when Deutsche Bank got into crypto, JP Morgan got into crypto, State Street, vanguard is now putting their arms and uh money into crypto they never made an announcement never went on cnbc never went on bloomberg never went on reuters to say anything about it they just did it very quietly and behind the scenes so um yeah this bubble will pop in about 18 to 24 months and then we'll have some real players that actually have an impact and really solve a real problem come in and they'll thrive well the real players are the real players already i feel mm -hmm. like they're there they're then there's not going to be a newcomer. Well, there might be a newcomer who can help in the space, but the, the players are going to be the players. Mm -hmm. It's going to be NVIDIA, right? Because of what they do with their GPUs. Uh, it's going to be Microsoft. It's going to be Google. It's going to be Amazon. And it's going to be Meta. I was just going to say, we're going to get into Meta because even if you look what they're doing in terms of the healthcare space, if you look at what she's trying to do, uh, it's going to it's require over a thousand gpus and who makes the the, the fastest gpus yep and right now nvidia yeah. so if we're looking and they're, they're planning for a hundred years from now that's why i keep saying no one's thinking about five six years cycles. You know, she's they're planning for a hundred years from now yes. this is going to be the technology that leads it the companies that are here that are doing it at the highest level and the most efficient level i mean I, it's going to be tough to to they're so far ahead now that it's going to be tough to out, outpace them and we see this with labels. Any person that gets hot, 
gets acquired by Sony Universal, like one of the big boys. Like a shot at the Rockets Records. Nobody at Rockets when Puff was running around selling Mace album. No one at Rockets was doing nine million. That's just like Interscope's gonna have their name. Like you can't in American society and American capitalism. You, uh, a lesson I've learned early: you're gonna have to pay the vig somewhere. Even when I go to Mexico, people are like, man, what do you do if the police pull you over and they charge you $100 just to go? It's never happened to me, thank God. But every time I'm in Mexico, they're like, you can either just pay now or do like you do in America and go to court and pay double. At some point, you're not going to make a billion dollars and not have to pay Google, Amazon, Tesla, Meta. You're going to have to pay that tech toll road at some point or not be on a big platform. Go check on Fresh and Fit and see how they're doing if they like being on Rumble. Stomach been rumbling ever since they got demonetized. What are they doing? They're on Rumble? They got kicked yeah. off of YouTube? They got, they got kicked, kicked off. off of YouTube. I think they got de demonetized. Demonetized. That's damn the same thing. You can promote, but... Rashad, you ever looked at Myron and be like, yo, you that dude. Like, Street, Street, yeah, streaming platform. Yeah. So they're only, they're only they behind paywall right now? Yep. The dude speed over at Rumble? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I gotta do that. And Axe over there, okay, yeah, yep. and a couple of the right wing people, right? Wing. <laughs> gonna be tough, but yeah, yeah I mean, right. going back to Priscilla, when I, when I had that post put up, um, they are trying to solve a real problem, like, yeah, and w there's gonna be a big migration from everyone in tech to healthcare. That's the real bag. I keep going back to that poison index, nobody copy that, please. Food, alcohol, drugs, pharmaceutical. Um, for all the diseases that are prevalent in our society, like, and I was looking the other day, I'm like, where can you even get watermelons in Texas that are seeded? If you look at commercial production of watermelons since 1990, seeded watermelons have dropped by 97%. Mm. Like, as a kid, you couldn't go in any, you go in a hood grocery store in 1989, 1992, and get a seeded watermelon. It's tough now. It's hard to go in Sprouts and get one. So they migrated to food or pharma or the music business and everyone who's made all of their money in tech when interest rates were at zero to 3% because all the easy capital is gone, they're going to transfer their way over to healthcare and take over those spaces as well. Mark and Priscilla just kind of navigating. And for everyone who is criticizing it, yeah. I get the criticism, but his wife is a doctor. 